you for tuning in and you are in for a treat as the Atlanta Falcons come over to visit the Philadelphia Eagles. I am Bricks Buntley and I will be hosting today's game. Today we are in for a deluxe showdown between two loaded teams, the Atlanta Falcons of course and none other than the Philadelphia Eagles. These two teams match up very well. These are two heavyweights going at it. Both teams 14-1. and one. It's the NFC Championship round. And the Eagles are going to kick off. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah, they're going to kick off to the Atlanta Falcons. Snowy weather. That does not favor the agile and mobile Falcons. They like to cut and move. Let's see if this affects their game. Oh, Reggie Bush trying to juke and he gets taken down. Yes, indeed. Doug Peterson has thrived as a coach. And he is going to watch his team as they try to stop this man right here, Michael Vick. Michael Vick, the multi-dimensional quarterback. He is always a threat to score from anywhere on the field in any type of way. First down from the 32. Here are your Atlanta Falcons. Oh, and they give it to... Barry Sanders up the middle. He stumbles and he actually is able to gain more yards. 10-yard run for Barry Sanders. Second in inches from the 41. Great play. The Falcons looking good on their first play so far. It was certainly a concern for the Atlanta Falcons coming in to be able to move the ball against this stout defensive front by the Philadelphia Eagles. So far, one play in, they look to be up to that challenge. Michael Vick now from the spread formation. Barry Sanders to his left. And they're going to drop back and pass. Michael Vick in trouble. And there you go, folks. They get to the pressure. All week long, we talked about the pressure. The Philadelphia Eagles that they love to send. They love to blitz the quarterback. And here you see it. them succeeding getting to Vick. Vick not able to find an open man. And Vick tried to escape. That's always his tendency could not get away from the defensive backs. 10-yard loss. Philadelphia Eagles answering that first down play by the Falcons. Two plays in, and this game is living up to the hype. All right, third and 11. Here goes Vic. He's looking, surveying the field. It all looks like a flag in the backfield. That's probably a holding penalty. Penalty, I'm sorry. Excuse my lisp. <laughs> holding. holding. Holding on the offense. Oh, man, that's really going to cost this team. They're going to decline that, though. And they're going to punt this ball. Good possession by the Philadelphia Eagles defense. The Falcons have not faced a defense like this all season long. Oh, and they are going to get a favorable bounce at the one-yard line. Let's see what can this Philadelphia Eagles defense, I mean offense, do. What a bounce. You can't ask for a better bounce. The gods favor the, Philadelphia, the Atlanta Falcons at the moment. They certainly are, have good fortune on their side. As we look at Carson Wentz now, Carson Wentz is a dynamic young talent. Mobile, strong and courageous, very poised from the pocket, very aware, very good at what he does. Here goes Carson Wentz from the one. He's going to turn around and give it to Eric Dickerson. Eric Dish Dickerson, a special addition to the Eagles. Eric Dickerson is a phenomenal back. He played for the, for the, uh, for the uh, LA Rams, then he played for the, for the Colts in his career. He was, he's, he's a phenomenal player, one of the best running backs to ever touch the field. And Eric Dickerson again, very explosive through the hole. Eric Dickerson, three for three. I'm sorry, on third and three, I apologize. It's third and three now. Eric Dickerson gaining some yards, setting up third and three. And here go the Philadelphia Eagles out of the shotgun formation. Carson Wentz calling an audible. You know, Carson Wentz is going to keep it. Carson Wentz saw something, and look at Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz getting past the 35, up to the 37-yard line. Carson Wentz with the big game, 30-yard scramble. And it is Carson Wentz who begins the trend of the new age running quarterback. Carson Wentz is the first quarterback to take off in this 
heavyweight bout. Look at Carson Wentz. He saw he, he audibled and he took off fast there. He saw something and he got into the right play. And you, you just gotta you just gotta be patient if you're gonna try to stop this guy. This guy is dangerous. From the 37, Carson Wentz. And he's going to hand it to his back, Eric Dickerson. And Eric Dickerson is going to get clogged up as that defensive line, they corral him. Adrian Claiborne there, stuffing up that running lane. And Duke Riley coming from behind, cleaning up the job. That will suck up a second and 10 from the 37. And they're going to continue with the run. Eric Dickerson juking, and there goes Brian Poole. They moved Brian Poole from the quarterback position and moved him over to free safety. He's actually a larger, at 211 pounds, he was larger. He's a larger defensive back than Ricardo Allen at 185 pounds. And there goes Carson Wentz, and they, they were able to get the stop. That was his first pass attempt as they served the running attack of the Eagles. He was able to get them up to this point. And we have not seen that dynamic matchup play out yet the uh, Terrell Owens going head to head with Deion Sanders and on that play Carson Wentz couldn't find anybody and they're going to punt good drive by the Eagles some good plays but the Eagles are able to hold up and they're going to kick that ball out, out of bounds away from Deion Sanders wise decision and here comes Michael Vick yet again that last drive wasn't really able to get anything going. They had a good first down run. Then they sacked Michael Vick in the backfield. And Michael Vick was able to get it out to the flat for a few yards in spite of a holding penalty. And they had to punt after that. Here they go again now. And they're going to hand the ball to Barry Sanders. And Barry Sanders is going to get stuffed by Michael Kendricks in the backfield. Michael Kendricks does not play any games. He does what he does and he does it with passion. Shooting up and tackling Barry Sanders, Michael Kendricks surges up and wraps his arms around the elusive, slippery Barry Sanders. And Barry had nowhere to go that time. As you see the pursuit angle in the tackling form of Michael Kendricks, he is a stellar linebacker when it comes to stopping the run. The Eagles in the tray open formation now. Faking the quick screen. And they're going to go back to the quick screen. High pass. Oh, that was a high pass. Julio Jones had to jump up to get it. And that jeopardized his ability to, uh, to run now. And they stop him in the backyard. In the back, in the backyard, I guess you could say, in the backfield. They stop him in the backfield. And as you see, Darrell Revis coming up and helping the defense corral the strong and powerful Julio Jones. That play may have got something that Vic would have thrown a more tamed ball. But Vic lets the ball get away from him. And we're looking at third and 16 from the 17. Michael Vick dropping back out of the empty formation. And Michael Vick looking to run. Wow. They, oh, Michael Vick fighting forward. That defensive line. Jernigan, 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 Jernigan. Look at Jernigan. He strung Michael Vick out. Michael Vick actually wanted to take a more direct angle as he decided to scramble. But Jernigan broke off of his blocker, strung Michael Vick out. Michael Vick had to take a wider angle. And then he spun away, and Jernigan was right there to bring him down. Great play by this, this athletic defensive line. Jernigan helping his team. And here go the Philadelphia Eagles on their second possession of the game. Looking to create more than what they did last time. Terrell Owens coming onto the field again. Maybe they're going to try that matchup. Terrell Owens versus Deion Sanders. It certainly favors Terrell Owens within the 10, 5 to 10 yard range if Dion tries to press him. But down the field, Dion is dominant. There goes Eric Dickerson getting stopped for a minimal game. Second and eight. Both defenses have flexed their muscles up to this point. Carson Wentz was able to call an audible and showed flashes last drive. Let's see if he has something up his sleeve this time. And they're going to keep running the ball. Eric Dickerson running over Duke Riley. Eric Dickerson, my oh my. 
a force to be reckoned with, and they, they're content with giving Eric Dickerson the ball on a consistent basis, as we see. And why not? Eric Dickerson, you can make an argument that he is the best running back, at least the best carrier of the football to ever play the game. Of course, he's playing against today Barry Sanders, so you can also make that argument about, and there goes Eric Dickerson stopped in the backfield. They try to do the counter out of the shotgun. They are committed to the run today, folks, and the Eagles are prepared for that. The Eagles run a lot of man defense. They keep the safety up close to the line of scrimmage, and they stop the run play on that, down, on that, on that possession right there. Here goes Deion Sanders with blockers. Deion Sanders getting upfield. Deion Sanders juking, almost slipped away. Whoa, it is exciting to watch Deion Sanders run these punts back. He is so dangerous when he gets the ball in his hands, and Deion Sanders almost created a big play right there. Just one person away, one tackle, one tackler, they get Deion Sanders, and here come the Atlanta Falcons at the 43-yard line. Great field position. Let's see if they can do something with it. And they're going to fake to Barry Sanders. Michael Vick creating room and space. Michael Vick, no one open. And there goes Brandon Graham with the sack. That is not the position you want to be in against this defense. It's difficult to get open against this secondary with featuring Brian Dawkins and Darrell Revis. And this defensive line will make you pay every single time. Again, this defense is tough. And they're showing you why. They are one of the premier defenses in the league. The Atlanta Falcons, negative one yards offense up to this point. And they fake to Barry Sanders. Michael Vick releasing. And there you go. That, that's going to get them closer to positive. Releasing the passing. They were negative 20 passing. Now they're positive. That was a positive 13-yard uh, play. So they're negative seven in the passing. Positive overall, positive 12 for the total yards. Marcel Reese on the crossing pattern. Michael Vick delivering a strike. Here we go, third down. Seven yards to go. And the Falcons are going to line up in their empty formation. They love this formation. It gives Michael Vick room to operate. Michael Vick, and he's going to get the first down easily. And he's going to get more. Oh, and there goes Brian Dawkins coming up to clean house, cleaning Michael Vick's clock. A vicious hit laid on Michael Vick by Brian Dawkins. And here we go from the 32. Barry Sanders juking. Whoa, quick juke. But the rest of the defense was there to stop him. What a move by Barry. So quick. And there, we finally get a chance to look at the Stockings offense. The game has been moving at such a fast pace. There goes your, there goes your guy, Barry Sanders. And Reggie Bush, they like to bring him in on passing situations, third downs and passing formations, etc. He's very effective. This running back tandem and this running, this running game as a whole is extremely dangerous for the Falcons. As they hand it to Reggie Bush on the sweep from the shotgun. Reggie Bush contributing. There you go, six yards. Reggie Bush setting up a third and one. Brian Dawkins flying up to make the tackle. Third and one. Michael Vick huffing and puffing. Hustling this this drive. Oh, and he is Julio Jones on the slant. Julio Jones walks into the touchdown. What a play. Michael Vick throwing the strike. Julio Jones beating his man, Darrell Revis, for the slant. That's the matchup that the Eagles wanted. You want your best guy on their best guy. But in that situation, the Falcons' best guy won. Darrell Revis, one of the all-time best cover cornerbacks, not able to stop Julio Jones on that play. They line up for the extra point, and it's good. It's good. 7-0 Falcons, 56-yard drive. It took them six plays. Great field position, and the Falcons are rolling. 
And there goes Gibson. He's going to take a knee. What I like to see, I like to see the, the Eagles pass ball. They've been running the ball a lot, but in Eric Dickerson, he's showing strength. He's showing that he can physically take on this Falcons defense. At the same time, I would like to see the Eagles make it easier for Eric Dickerson by spreading this defense out and opening up the defense with some passes down the field via the arm of Carson Wentz. And it looks like they're going to do so right here. Carson Wentz looking for, looking, Carson Wentz breaking out again and, scram and sliding down. Carson Wentz scrambling and rambling and moving. Carson Wentz, such an athlete, such a well-rounded quarterback. Very good from the pocket, a bit more accurate than Michael Vick is, but he can also run as well. And Carson Wentz is going to line up in the single back formation. Second and four, and he's going to hand it to Eric Dickerson. Eric Dickerson lowering his shoulder, meeting Deion Jones in the hole, and he's going to push forward for three yards. Third and one. Eric Dickerson, is, he's shown physical dominance, but the team defense, the Falcons as a team, they have rallied. And there was a slant route, and it's open. Nelson Aguilar, easy, easy, easy. And that's Carson Wentz's first completion on his second attempt. Slant route, money. First down, Eagles. And he, held, he was able to hold on to that. He took on that hit from Deion Jones. Nelson Aguilar is intent on showing that he belongs. And they're going to give it off again to Eric Dickerson. And Eric Dickerson almost breaking free. They have confidence in this running game for a reason. Eric Dickerson certainly is, he's one of the best guys. He's the, probably the most physically, physically impressive guy out there on the field. He's the most physically, I mean, there's, there's, so, there's so many great athletes, but out of all the athletes, no one has the combination of power and strength and agility that Eric Dickerson possesses and explosiveness, very fast. And he's such a smooth back. So they have reason to want to feed him early here, get him into a rhythm. And once again, guys, I'm Bricks Buntley. That's the end of the first quarter. As the Falcons look good. And the Eagles look good as well. But the Falcons are up 7-0. NFC Championship game. Ah, have you had yourself a Snickers lately? It satisfies. Second and 11 from the 40. Carson Wentz firing down the field. And he's going to hit out Nelson Aguilar again. Nelson Aguilar matched up with Robert Alford winning that matchup. And they are taking what the Falcons give them. Fake the handoff. Play action. They certainly have set that up to say the least. And here goes Jeremy Macklin, a native eagle. An Eagle original coming down with that ball. We had to bring Jeremy Macklin back. We rejuvenate him and put him back on the Eagles where he played his best football. What a play. Jeremy Macklin and, and uh, Carson Wentz connecting on the dig route right there for the first down. 18-yard gain. From the 21st, here goes Carson Wentz. And whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, they have bottled up Eric Dickerson, but he looks good. He's fallen forward. Eric Dickerson has not been, he, he's been corralled, but he has not been dominated by any means. He has, he has showed his, he has showed his force on every carry so far. Oh my, Carson Wentz, Robert Alford getting revenge, saying, aha, look at me go. Carson Wentz can't grit him. Robert Alford exacting his revenge on Carson Wentz. What a play. Touchdown Atlanta Falcons. Carson Wentz tried to force it in there. What a costly play. Carson Wentz trying to force the ball in there, and that was just not a smart play by Carson Wentz. Oh, Robert Alford 
taking it all the way up the sideline for the Atlanta Falcons. And this is just not good for the Philadelphia Eagles. They certainly don't want to allow this Atlanta Falcons team to get too far ahead. They are a momentous team. They are a surging team. They will run away with this game if you let them. Atlanta Falcons, and they're good for the extra point. 14 to 0. Here goes Darren Sproles, looking for space. And Darren Sproles is going to get taken down at the 31. 24-yard return. Carson Wentz has looked good aside from that interception. He may want to dial it back a bit. Got a little overzealous and he cost his team. Let's see if he can rejuvenate himself or redeem himself on this drive. Carson Wentz surveying the field and he gets it out to his running back, Eric Dickerson, lowering his shoulder at the 40-yard line. And they take him down at the 39. Good play. Good play. Carson Wentz, single back formation, three tight ends on the field, and they're going to send Selleck into motion. And they're going to run the ball. And Eric Dickerson, oh, tr trying to fight out of that. Duke Riley, man, his second tackle for a loss. Duke Riley using his speed to his advantage, getting back there and striking Eric Dickerson in the backfield, getting help from his friend, Brian Poole, and they are able to, to take him down together. Eric Dickerson, such a phenomenal athlete. The Eagle, the Falcons have certainly done what they need to do to contain Eric Dickerson up to this point. Carson Wentz surveying the field, quick release, and that is a first down. First catch by Terrell Owens here in the second quarter. And man, they certainly want to get that guy going. Deion Sanders there to bring him down. And that is the matchup everyone has been waiting to see. Good play. Good play. Here goes Carson Wentz. He's going to fake it to Eric Dickerson. Oh, he's going to give it to Eric Dickerson. Pardon me, Eric Dickerson. Shedding tackles. Wow. Eric Dickerson, man, on, on almost every other run, it, so he just looks like he's going to break. But that, that Atlanta Falcon defense, man, they're not, they're, not as, they're not a powerful defense, but they are a tough, physical, fast defense. They will pursue, and they will gang tackle. They are, that's what they've been able to do today. And Eric Dickerson shutting the first time. Oh, excuse me, Jay Ajayi now coming into the game, keeping up, that, keeping up this culture of power. Shutting the first tackle and getting a nice game, setting up third and two. And here goes the Philadelphia Eagles out of the single back formation. Two tight ends. And they're going to run the ball again. Jay Ajayi breaking. Jay Ajayi to the right with room. Jay Ajayi. Deion Sanders with the pursuit is able to bring him down at the 14-yard line. And Jay Ajayi able to come in and provide a spark for the Philadelphia Eagles. Sometimes the change of pace is all you need, and Jay Ajayi is able to do what the Eagles have wanted them wanted to do in the running game all day long. Jay Ajayi finally able to answer that bell. They have been running the ball all day, pounding at that uh, Atlanta Falcons defense, hoping to break them down. They are a much more physical team than this Atlanta Falcons defense, and they want to break this team down as the game wears on. Oh, and here we have a flag. Somebody's nerves are getting the best of them. First and 15 now. Carson Wentz dropping back, and he's going to take off again up the middle. Carson Wentz absorbing the hit, holding on to the ball. Wow, Carson Wentz has been deadly. He's rushed for 48 yards already in the first quarter. 
And that's something that we I certainly didn't expect. I didn't expect Carson Wentz to have this type of game scrambling and running with the ball in his hand. And he holds on to the ball there. And he he's carrying his team. That was a much needed play right there. Second and three from the seven yard line. Carson was surveying the field again. Is he gonna take off? No, he's not. Oh, and he throws it away. He dumps it in the direction of his running back. Gets rid of it there. Everybody was covered. Third and three. Looks like he tried to create something there, but it just wasn't there. It was too awkward of a throw. Throws the ball away. Single back formation now. Oh, and another false start. This is killing the Eagles. The lack of discipline is absolutely killing the Eagles right now. Third and eight from the 12. Terrell Owens lined up at the top of your screen in the slot across from Deion Sanders. Let's see if they go to that matchup. Terrell Owens is just going to leisurely jog out to the flat, and they are going to sack Carson Wentz. My, oh, my. That is not good. That's not what they wanted to get out of this possession. Great drive, sabotaged by penalties, and they're going to have to settle for a field goal here. They send the blitz up the middle that time. Run man coverage, and I mean, I'm, it's, I'm surprised that they did that type of route concept. They're not showing confidence in going to Terrell Owens in single man coverage against Deion Sanders. I mean, that would have been a great time to, to go to the middle of the field since Terrell Owens in on a slant, and he, uh, he, he has a high success rate running those inside routes, and that time they opt not to go to Terrell Owens in that situation. So they settle for three. And now they're going to line up and kick the ball off to the Atlanta Falcons. And the Atlanta Falcons are looking to add to their lead. Falcons still need to be careful and they still need to respect this Eagles defense. This Eagles defense will create turnovers. Julio Jones, he already has scored a touchdown. He's looking to do more. Julio Jones is going to line up in the slot at the top of your screen, right next to the 20-yard sign. And there goes Barry Sanders. Oh, and Barry Sanders getting tackled. They're going to take him down in the backfield. They've done good against Barry Sanders up to this point. They've done a good job against the run. And that's going to be second and long from the 26. Second and nine, Michael Vick. And he's going to give it away again. This time to Bush. Bush breaking free. Reggie Bush able to find a crease. Reggie Bush has been, has, has been a, he's been a good change of pace back. Reggie Bush has come in and he has been effective. That time they're running the read option and Reggie Bush was able to find some space in there. Those read option plays are very effective. Teams respect Michael Vick's running ability, and the running backs are often able to find some room. Oh, wow, risky throw. High throw to the flat. His receiver's going to have some words for him after that. Michael Vick dropping back. Surveying the field. He's going to take off. Michael Vick sliding down. Michael Vick with 38 yards. He's had success. He hasn't taken off quite as much as Carson Wentz has. But he certainly has flexed his ability to gain yards with his legs. Setting up a third and six. Marshall Reese is in, and he, go, he darts up the field. Michael Vick with space. Michael Vick juking, and 
Brian Dawkins able to grab him up and take him down to the ground. Great play, and the Eagles get the stop that they needed. That's championship caliber football. That's why the Eagles are hosting this game right now. They're the number one seed in the NFC. This is what they do, folks. They're struggling at the moment, but do not worry. This team, they will coach it up, and they will step it up. They will get the stops that they need. They will make the plays that they need to stay in the game. They did it all year, and they're looking to continue that trait here today. Here comes the punt team, and they are going to kick it. Oh, great bounce, but it's going to go out of bounds. Close. All right, let's see what the Eagles can do here. Eric Dickerson in the single back formation, and they give it to him. Eric Dickerson breaking free. Eric Dickerson hobbling. Oh, Eric Dickerson, whoa. There's just so much traffic. Eric Dickerson just keeps running, and there's so much traffic. He, he, just, he looks like he's going to break on every single carry. He's shedding tacklers. He's hopping over guys. And it's a relentless surge to the ball, man. They just they keep coming. They keep coming, and they keep coming, and they've been able to contain Eric Dickerson. Man, the Eagles are just licking their chops. And they give it to him again on the draw. Eric Dickerson, he's going to get stopped after a three-yard game. Third and six. Carson Winston in Macklin in motion. And he's going to drop back. And he's going to deliver. Oh, and that's taken by Deion Sanders. The man coverage. Deion Sanders winning. Oh, I apologize. That was not. Deion Sanders was in the area, but that was Brian Poole. It looked like Deion Sanders. Brian Poole stepping up from the robber position and snatching that ball from Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz struggling early on. Brian Poole robbing Carson Wentz of that ball, robbing the Eagles. Let's, let's get a look at this replay, guys. As we look at the previous play, they were in robber, they were in cover one robber press. And Poole obviously was the robber in that play. Poole is going to come up. And he's going to, he's the he's playing out of the free pay safety position. And he's just going to linger here into the middle of the field. And he's just going to watch Carson Wentz. And he's going to step up in front of this pass. Carson Wentz was watching his man, his guy, T.O., as T.O. broke free from coverage against Deion Sanders. But he wasn't aware of Brian Poole right here waiting for that ball. And Brian Poole snatches it out of the air. And that is an interception. First down, Falcons at the 23. Michael Vick from the 23. He's going to keep it. Michael Vick has to dart up. They contain Michael Vick. Brandon Graham holding it down on the edge. Holding that to just a four-yard gain. Michael Vick with the strike, stepping up into the pocket, throwing on the run. What a throw. Look at Michael Vick. Wow. What a throw. Look at that throw for him. Michael Vick is so deadly when he gets to moving in the pocket, and he's able to throw a strike right there. Motion. And they're going to end it right here. Two minute warning. A 
the Falcons dominating early on. The Eagles getting in their own way. And the Falcons are taking advantage as they line up. This looks to be a run play, and it is going to be a run play. And Barry Sanders is going to slide right in between the creases. Very smoothly, very easily touchdown. Very easy touchdown. And the Falcons are up. They've scored three touchdowns already in the first half. And this is not looking good for the Falcons, for the Eagles. The Eagles crowd is booing as Jeremy and Macklin tries to motivate his offensive line. This team is trying to they're trying to find any type of inspiration that they can as they congregate on the sidelines to try to figure out what's going on. Not the start that they were expecting. And the winner of this game will face the Baltimore Ravens in the Super Bowl. That's going to be one heck of a matchup. The Baltimore Ravens defense, arguably one of the arguably the best defense ever. Extremely solid defense. Ray Lewis, Ed Reed, Haloti Nada. They dominate on every level of and they, they they're physical and they're smart. You're in a world of trouble when you're facing those guys. Alright, so here goes Carson Wentz. With the bunch offset. Bunch wide formation rather. And they're going to continue to give the ball to their dominant running back. And he's going to muscle up for four yards, setting up a second and six. Carson Wentz running the hurry-up offense. Spread formation. He's back to throw. And he's going to let go qu quickly. And he's going to hit Terrell Owens straight up the seam. There you go, guys. That's what, the, that's what we've been waiting for. Carson Wentz to Terrell Owens down the field. Moving the ball. Anyway, from the 41 yard line, Philadelphia Eagles. Crossing with surveying the field, and there's a flag on the floor. Oh, and it looks like this is going to come back. Penalties are killing the Eagles right now. Holding offense. Is that their left guard? It is. Chance Womack is killing his team. Chance Womack, with the costly false starts earlier, Chance Womack, he is, he is killing his team right now. He's a good, he's a good player, but he, his discipline, his lack of discipline is destroying their chances right now. And Dion, is that, who is that Chase? That's Duke Riley. It looked like he was moving so fast. Whoa. Duke Riley with the speed chasing down Carson Wentz and Carson Wentz tackled for a huge loss. Carson Wentz surveying the field. Carson Wentz tackled in the backfield. There goes Dwight Freeney. Doing what he does, finally getting to the quarterback, and this is trouble on top of trouble. The Falcons are piling on and adding to this this deficit, making it an even deeper deficit. Third and 34, and the Eagles are still going to push the ball down the field. It's what they do. They're still going to take their shot here, guys. Oh, they're not. Eric Dickerson stumbling ahead, and they play it safe. That makes sense, though. That does make sense. You don't want to create disaster in that situation. And they're going to give the ball back to this explosive Falcons offense, and Michael Vick is going to do what he does best. Run the two-minute offense. He is the most deadly quarterback running the two-minute offense. Well, probably, maybe, probably not the most deadly. Tom Brady is the most deadly. But Michael Vick is extremely effective. And sometimes just appears to be unstoppable with his ability to run and pass. It's very difficult to stop him in the two-minute drill. He asserts himself up the field. And there goes Julio Jones. He's probably going to be looking for Julio Jones on this on this possession, guys. And 
Darrell Revis is going to line up across from Julio Jones at the bottom of your screen. And Michael Vick, here he goes, sliding, getting down, timeout Falcons. This is what he does. A two minute offense, Michael Vick is quick to take off. And it is automatic. Almost every two minute drill you watch Michael Vick orchestrate. He, he gains yards out. He just, he just becomes so difficult to stop. He will run or he will pass. And he will run very, he was very quick to run when it comes to his two minute drills. Michael Vick dropping back again, rolling out. Is he going to run again? He's going to run again. Michael Vick sliding. Michael Vick, like, unlike other times we've seen him this season, the Eagles aren't giving him much space though. Playing very disciplined defense. The Eagles are holding their ground and they're holding their responsibilities very well. Containing Vic. Michael Vick rolling out again. He's going to take off yet again. Michael Vick spinning. Michael Vick is going to fumble. Darby's going to scoop. And then Darby's going to head up the sideline. Darby is going to score. And the Eagles are gaining back momentum in the end of the first half. Touchdown, Philadelphia Eagles. Did you see that play? Whoa. You can ask for a better end of the first half. Maybe this could change the momentum of the game, folks. What a play by the Philadelphia Eagles. Michael Vick eluding Darby. Darby staying with it. Following the play. Scooping up the fumble that Hicks creates. And Darby is rewarded for his diligence. Scores the touchdown. Huge for his team. Puts his team back in this game. And that, my friends, is a good extra point. And that which that what you see is a 21-10 score. And Deion Sanders back that time. And he elected to take a knee. They're going to take a knee. And they're going to end this first half. Wow, offsides on a knee play. That, whoa, the discipline of this Philadelphia Eagles team is really costing these guys. They are make, they are just, they are sabotaging themselves here, guys. They're a young team, but I'm sure the veterans on this team are going to have some words for their younger guys in the locker room as they end the, close out this first half. Julio Jones certainly looked good on that touchdown play. And there, guys, as we uh, as we get prepared for the halftime show, let's take a look at these stats. The Falcons have not moved the ball quite like the Eagles have, but as you see, the takeaway margin, which is only a one advantage, has contributed to their lead. As we look at the first touchdown of the game, Julio Jones taking the slant in, beating Darrell Revis on that play. And then after this, it was an interception. Robert Alford intercepting Carson Wentz and taking it all the way down the field. Huge play for the Falcons. And then again, after, after a stalling drive or the, or the Eagles kicking a field goal, the Falcons are able to get up the field quickly. And Barry Sanders walks into the end zone. And of course, what we just saw, that scooped up fumble by Darby. And here we are. Starting the third quarter, Darren Sproles, he's going to take a knee. And Carson Wentz is going to step back out on the field. Jay Ajayi has been good for the Eagles. You got to wonder, maybe they might want to go back to him. He, he, he came in and he had two impressive runs. And, and they, were, they had to settle for a field goal on that drive. But he certainly provided a spark. Eric Dickerson spinning. Oh, and they're going to take Eric Dickerson down at the 29. 
Eric Dickerson. Eric Dickerson getting gang tackled at the 29, and that has been the story all game. Carson Wentz throwing to the flat, and they stop him at the 26. Decisive play. What a play by Robert Alford. Coming up, making that play in the flat. Let's move along. Carson Wentz out of the shotgun. Carson Wentz dropping back, surveying the field. He's looking, and Carson Wentz, he fumbled the ball, and the Falcons scoop it up, and the Falcons are advancing into the end zone. Claiborne taking his time, and he walks into the end zone, and this is a massacre at this point. They really could not afford to lose the ball there. What a play by the Falcons. The Falcons just look prepared. They look ready. Carson Wentz trying to throw the ball. A bit indecisive there. and This game is getting out of hand. This Philadelphia fan base is not pleased with what they see today, guys. They are booing their team. And again, Jay Ajayi's numbers, are they going to give him the ball? Probably not. And another fumble by the Eagles, and this time they're able to get on top of it. Wow, the Eagles are just trying to give this ball away here today, guys. That was Duke Riley sniping in there, taking out Duke, Eric Dickerson's legs, and Eric Dickerson coughed the ball up. Luckily, the Eagles are able to get on top of it that time. What is going on here in Philadelphia? Carson Wentz now in the single back formation. Sending Burton in motion. And they're going to run again. Eric Dickerson. They're going to stuff him up again. 19 carries for 46 yards. And they have not grown tired of this. They're going to continue to give him the ball. Carson Wentz out of the shotgun. And they're going to give it to Eric Dickerson again on third down. And he rewards them. First down, Eagles. I mean, he's been good. I just... I get the feeling, though, that he would be even better if they would open up the offensive playbook and create some more room for him. They have not done that, though. And Burton goes in motion, and they run again. Eric Dickerson spinning. Eric Dickerson really trying to do it all on his own here today. Eric Dickerson, such a specimen. Second and 11, and they give it to him again. Eric Dickerson is going to get stuffed. 22 carries now for 50 yards. Not impressive at all. When are they going to put the ball in the air? Aaron Dickerson is tired. Carson Wentz surveying the field, rolling out, and he's going to take off. No, he's not. He's going to dump it to Eric Dickerson. Carson Wentz with the Houdini move. And Eric Dickerson getting down to the 31-yard line. What a play by Carson Wentz. Wow, Carson Wentz just fooled the defenders right there. He rolls out, draws the defenders up, and then he dumps it out to Eric Dickerson, and Eric Dickerson gets the ball all the way up to the 31 into the enemy territory. What a play. That is certainly something that they needed. Let's see if they can put, turn this into points. The Eagles now line up in the spread formation. Jay Ajayi next to Carson Wentz. And they feed Jay Ajayi. And Jay Ajayi continues with his great game. Jay Ajayi is coming in and he is playing hard. He has 50 yards on just three carries. Jay Ajayi, he has been very effective running the ball against this Falcons team.
it just seems like whenever he comes in, it's, it's, there's just one guy there trying to tackle him. It's, it's, I don't know. It's like when they give Dickerson the ball, it's like everyone in the it's like everyone on the team is trying to tackle Dickerson. When when Jay Ajayi comes in, he's able to find openings. Maybe the defense is backing up when they see Ajayi in the lineup. I don't know. And Jay Ajayi out in the flat, breaking the tackle. Jay Ajayi adding a spark. Maybe I should have never put Eric Dickerson on the Eagles. They may have been better off with just Jay Ajayi. And Eric Dickerson now looks like is that no, I think that's Jay Ajayi still in the game. Yes. Jay Ajayi. Jay Ajayi with a stiff arm. Jay Ajayi has just been dynamite here, guys. He has been dynamite. And the Eagles have 155 yards on the ground collectively. Not much to show for it, though. And here comes Eric Dickerson back in the game. And they give it to him. Eric Dickerson running into his own man. Wow. Eric Dickerson is struggling. He's not finding the holes quite like J.H.I. is. J.H.I. Is, is, is running a, playing a much better game. He's much more accustomed to this offense, we must say. This is not Eric Dickerson's game. Oh, my, oh, my. Brian Poole is going to get his second interception. And I've seen enough, guys. I have seen enough. I definitely need to make some changes to this game. Michael Vick going to keep it. A bold play call in their own territory. And Michael Vick getting fancy. Shedding tacklers, eluding defenders. Michael Vick gets him up to the 14-yard line. That was a very bold play call at their own two or one-yard line. And Michael Vick is able to show why they have the confidence in calling that play. Going to run the stretch play to Barry Sanders, and he's going to bounce out. Barry Sanders gets tackled. They do a good job there containing Barry Sanders. Here goes Reggie Bush in the flat, and they tackle him. Michael Vick, 6 of 7, 60 yards. He's played a very, very composed game up to this point. And he's been good. And they're going to give it to Bush, and Bush is going to get stuffed. That time they tried their luck on the run play, feeling comfortable with what their defense has been able to do. And they're, they're content with punting this ball away here. The offense has not shown that they are a true threat to score. Or a true threat to... Oh my! And the block punt by the Eagles. And the Eagles are going to take that in. The Eagles with their second non-offensive touchdown. And ladies and gentlemen, this may be the way the Eagles have to get it done here today. The offense has struggled, but the Eagles showing that there's still a whole team. And who was that? That was Brian Dawkins diving in there, breaking the play. The Wolverine. Brian Dawkins, what a player he is. Always makes plays like that. And he gets his team a much-needed touchdown. And the extra point is good, making this an 11-point game. Reggie Bush is going to take this up to the 33. The Falcons now probably going to be a bit more aggressive after what just transpired last possession. And then here they go. They're going to try the end around, and it's going to get stopped. A little trickery there. 
And the Falcons are going to get stopped in the backfield. Three yard loss, second and 13 now. Brandon Graham was not fooled. He stayed home and he was right there waiting on Julio Jones. Here we go, guys. Michael Vick surveying the field. Michael Vick under pressure. He gets the ball out to Reggie Bush. And Reggie Bush has to gallop out, out of bounds. No game. Third and 13. Michael Vick able to get rid of the ball, though. I guess that's, the, that's just like throwing the ball away in that position. Michael Vick gets rid of the ball, and they're going to see. They, here they go. They want to. Let's see what they can do here. Reggie Bush is in the game. Michael Vick, and he's going to get the ball to Bush again, and Red Bush is going to go out of bounds again. And they gain back three yards, fourth and ten. And a three and out is served up by this Philadelphia Eagles defense. Wow. And they are going to down that ball at the one yard line. Look at that. Eric Dickerson may stop him. Again. They're going to give it to Eric Dickerson. Oh, my gosh. And they continue to give the ball to Eric Dickerson, and he continues to struggle. At this point, it's embarrassing. The Eagles not able to do anything with this, with this drive. And they're going to punt the ball away. And they're going to punt it out of bounds away from Deion Sanders, but they're going to give him a great field position at the 46-yard line. As Michael Vick takes the field, feeling confident, feeling good about what he's been able to do. He's been able to protect the ball. He's been able to move the ball. He's been able to score the ball. So let's see what he can do on this possession. Reggie Bush in the odd formation. They give it to Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush on the stretch play, out of bounds. We've been seeing a lot of Reggie Bush. They have their packages for Reggie Bush, and they have their packages for Barry Sanders. And as of late, they've been running a lot of their Reggie Bush packages as Reggie Bush stays on the field. And he's going to, Michael Vick is going to slip away, and he's going to gain some yards, and he's going to slide down at the 25. And that's going to end the quarter. Great play. Good, good game so far up to this point. The Falcons, however, have been in control. They have been the more competent team. They have been the more disciplined team by far. And much more functional on offense. The Eagles have two touchdowns, two non-offensive touchdowns. And the Eagles just haven't been able to do anything on offense. The Falcons now, just gaining a first down on that last play, they have been able to move the ball and they've been able to score. And here they go from the 25-yard line. Michael Vick giving it to Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders cutting up, getting tackled. Barry Sanders not having a good go at it today. Barry Sanders 
on, on each team, neither team's starting running back has had success today, guys. Maybe the defense is game plan for the starting running backs. And they, they were prepared for the starting running backs, but they, they haven't been able to. They've been stopping the starting running backs. There goes Michael Vick scrambling, and he's fighting for what he can get after making contact. And Michael Vick having a very scrappy game, a very tough, very hard-fought game. And as you see, 147 rushing yards collectively in spite of the struggles of Barry Sanders. That, go, that tells you how effective Michael Vick has been today. And they're going to give it to Bush on this play. Bush cutting it back. Reggie Bush with 32 yards rushing. Reggie Bush has been a factor in the running game today, to say the least. And Reggie Bush is still in the game. And they're going to try the same play again. And Reggie, why not? Reggie Bush looking for a second consecutive first down. Gains five yards. In comes Barry Sanders. And they're going to give it to Barry Sanders. He has space and Barry Sanders right into the end zone well-designed play Barry Sanders getting his second rushing touchdown Barry hasn't had his typical game but he has scored twice for this Atlanta Falcons team and there you have it folks And again with the boos, this this Eagles fan base is disappointed, and they have every reason to be disappointed. Their team has not showed the competitive flair that they've had all year long. They have had penalties, they have had mistakes, and Darren Sproles, oh, he looked like he had something for a second, but this Eagles team has just looked outmatched. I, you know, I was I, I certainly didn't expect this today. I don't think anybody expected this. They're, they're 95 overall. They're a higher rated team than this Falcons team. And, you know, for good reason. I mean, they're, they're loaded from top to bottom. Good offensive line, good defensive line, good backs and receivers. But they have just made mistake after mistake today. There goes Ertz with the catch. There goes Carson Wentz. As you look at his numbers, man, Carson Wentz at the top of the screen right under the score, you see the... Uh, the numbers being showed. Well, Carson Wentz, three interceptions. Just an ugly game for Carson Wentz. He's had some good plays. He has some beautiful plays, but they certainly don't outdo those three interceptions. As Eric Dickerson motions out of the backfield. And they're going to get it to Terrell Owens with room. Terrell Owens lowering his shoulder. Terrell Owens that time. Trying to do what he can. Even lowering his shoulder. Of course, Terrell Owens is a physical wide receiver, much stronger than everyone out there trying to tackle him. And he tried to use that strength to his advantage. And here goes the ball. Down the field, Jeremy Macklin, one-handed catch. Wow. Here in the fourth quarter, you would have liked to have seen this a bit earlier out of the Eagles. This is what we all was expecting to see. Carson Wentz making plays down the field to his receivers. Jeremy Macklin, what a beautiful play right there, beating his man down the field. The Eagles have spent the whole game running the ball. They probably should have had Jay Ajayi started. That's unfortunate for the Eagles. But here goes Terrell Owens. Terrell Owens with the touchdown. Making it look easy. Where has that been all game? Terrell Owens, what a play. They run the slant, the run, the slant pattern, man. And, man, they should have been doing that much longer ago. But, hey, this is still a 10-point game, though. The Eagles still could come back. But they just have showed no sign of being able to stop the Falcons. But look at Terrell Owens here. It's all about him right now. Terrell Owens beating Deion Sanders. A well-designed play. They run the Aiden Cunning route through traffic. Deion Sanders gets caught in traffic. And Terrell Owens gets an easy touchdown.
And I'm sorry, it's, a, it's an 11 point game, but still a two possession game. The Eagles have enough time to turn this game around. As Taylor Gabriel takes the ball and the Eagles will tackle him at the 29. Let's see what the Falcons will do. The Falcons play so well with the lead. They're very again. They're, they're not the kind of team you don't want. You don't want to be behind these guys because if they're able to keep Vic in a comfort zone, it's it's dangerous. It's very. They're very. They 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 just keep moving the chains. They're impeccable when it comes to moving the chains. And here goes Vic, and what looks to be a run play. They love to run out of this formation, and they will run. And he's going to give it to Barry Sanders. And Barry Sanders is going to get stuffed. That has been the story of today. Barry Sanders has been contained all day long. In spite of his two touchdowns, they have held him to only 20 yards. And that is a lot. That is saying a lot about this defense. Here goes Michael Vick surveying the field. And he's going to get it out to Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush has seen a ton of action today. As the running game has struggled, they have done a lot of passing plays. And Reggie Bush, he comes in for their passing packages as he has five receptions. Not a lot of yards, but he certainly is an effective possession element to this to this, uh, this Falcons offense. As Vic likes to just dump it down to him. He makes an easy catch. Very easy, very routine for Reggie Bush. And here goes third and two. Empty formation again, but I think but Barry Sanders is in the game. Third and two. Michael Vick is going to keep it. Oh, Michael Vick's cutting. Michael Vick with room. Michael Vick bringing the chase. And Michael Vick, there goes Michael Vick. They're going to get him down at the seven. 169 rushing yards right now for Michael Vick. He has destroyed this team. Absolutely destroyed this team. What, can, what more can you say about that? 169 rushing yards. Unbelievable. It's what do you do about that? What can you do? They have not been able to contain Michael Vick. In fact, let's get another look at that. That was such a beautiful play. I want to get another look at that play. Michael Vick getting ran down at the end of that play by Michael Jenkins. Let's look at the recent plays. That was a quarterback draw, actually. They ran the quarterback draw. I thought that was a scramble. That was a designed run play. And man, it certainly worked. They bring the pressure, and Michael Vick did not falter at all. He did not sweat a second, did not hesitate. And he comes up and he makes this nasty cut, escaping trouble. And Michael Vick running all the way up the field. If it wasn't for the speed of Malcolm Jenkins, this would have been a touchdown. Michael Vick, so explosive. He makes it look so easy. And here go the Atlanta Falcons at the seven-yard line. And they're going to throw it. Whoa, they threw the fade route that time to Julio Jones and Darrell Revis. That time is able to come up with the stop. The last time, they beat Darrell Revis with the slant. This time, they go back at him with the fade route. They fake the slant, and Darrell Revis responds accordingly. Look at the extension on Darrell Revis. What a play. What a, what a freaking play, guys. And let's get another look at that. We got to take a look at that play, guys. That was a beautiful play by Darrell Revis. The Eagles have flashed some brilliance here. But Michael Vick, it's just so difficult. They're such a difficult team to play against when they have the lead. But look at Julio Jones. Let's look at this play here. Darrell Revis plays off. And allows Julio Jones to get into position. And Darrell Revis says, okay. And he extends and knocks that ball out of there. I don't even know if Julio would. Julio wouldn't even have been able to come down with that. Maybe he would have. Maybe if he would have caught that, he would have got his feet down. Man, what a play being able to extend. Because Julio Jones, he could really get up there. But Darrell Revis extending with his arm, knocking that ball out of there. Ryan Dawkins. Let's see if he can come up with a stop here. 
Oh, and there goes Vic again. They try the fade route again. And they're not able to get it. Let's see what they try here. And they are going to run. Okay, and they, get, they dump it down to Walker. They ran the slant pattern at the top of your screen that was not open. So he just dumped it down to his tight end. And the Eagles get a stop here. And this is very, this is good. This keeps the game in contention. If they get this field goal, it's going to make it a 14-point game. And the Eagles still, or actually, I'm sorry, a third, yeah, no, yes, a 14-point game. Let's see if they get this. And they get it. So the Eagles now are down by 14. And the offense is picking up momentum. The offense had a good possession last time. If the offense can move the ball and if they can score quickly like they did last time, that would be very good. But, of course, that defense is going to have to come back out here. And they're going to have to eventually stop these guys. Darren Sproles. Oh. Well, how convenient would that have been if Darren Sproles would have been able to run that kickback? But he's, he's stopped in spite of a shifty move when they stop him at the 28. Again, the winner is going to be facing the Baltimore Ravens, and that is going to be one heck of a matchup. The Baltimore Ravens, man, that defense is scary. Carson Wentz again with note. Oh, my God, almost picked off. Deion Sanders came flying up. You cannot throw it late in Deion Sanders' vicinity. Deion Sanders will make you pay. He actually dropped the ball that time. He didn't get a clear shot at it. It was in traffic and bobbled around. But Deion Sanders, let's look at that again. Deion Sanders, man, whoa. They were in cover two that time. And Deion Sanders came flying up. Carson Wentz actually threw it late in Deion Sanders' area. This is something you don't do. Look at that. He was well. He was open. Let's 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 just let's just observe the the closing speed of Dion. Closes so fast, and Carson Wentz not able to put all the mustard on that ball either as he was falling back. Dion Sanders almost getting the interception. Man, that might have been six. And Macklin comes and tries to fight for that ball as well. Second down. Carson Wentz with the hard count, getting the screen to Eric Dickerson. Eric Dickerson in the open field. Eric Dickerson with the speed. And Keon O'Neill, the enforcer, comes and lets Eric Dickerson know. You got to pay for that, son. You got to pay for that run. Eric Dickerson has been a, he's been a factor in the passing game. He has 60 yards with four, four receptions. And that time, Eric Dickerson delivered. He was able to contribute. Wow, what a play by Eric Dickerson. Carson Wentz now. Carson Wentz dropping back, surveying the field, looking for the his man. He gets Ertz. Ertz crossing the, the formation. He throws it to him late, but Carson Wentz has the arm to do it. Zipping that ball in there, getting the completion. First down, Eagles. And the offense has light now. They have life now. I'm sorry. The offense has life now. Carson Wentz out of the shotgun. Oh, and he's going to get it to Macklin for a short game. I think they're trying to set the Falcons up here. They're throwing these little short passes, but I get a feeling they're going to take another shot down the field here. As they're right outside of the red zone, empty formation. Let's see what they do with this. This is a very easy formation to scramble out of. And, they, and Carson Wentz fumbles. Peters scoops it up. Peters is Peters stumbles forward. Peters advancing the ball. Peters is able to get the first down. What a play in a face mask by the Atlanta Falcons. Great play. Whoa, what a strange chain of events. 
very odd. Peters staying in the fight, advancing the football, getting the first down, and they're going to end up at the nine-yard line after that face mask. What an odd play. What a very, very odd play. Very odd. Very, very odd. Carson Wentz lines up with the empty formation at the nine-yard line. And oh, my Lord. Could, would you believe it? Another false start penalty? Was it their left guard again? Oh, this time it was Peters. That left side of the offensive line, those guys, I mean, geez, this line, they, they're, they're sabotaging this, the efforts of this Philadelphia Eagles team. They're setting up the screen here. And Eric Dickerson has space. And they stop him. They stop him at the four. Eric Dickerson's fifth reception. They have said the heck with handing Eric Dickerson the ball. They have just decided to pass him the ball. And this worked for him. Nelson Aguilar in motion. And they give it to him. Touchdown. What a play. Very savvy play. They run Nelson Aguilar. They bring him in motion. And they run the spot route. And he stops right in front of Carson Wentz. And Carson Wentz just drops it off to him for the touchdown. Nelson Aguilar, he's looked good in a game of these all these star-studded and these big names. Nelson Aguilar, for the times that they've called his number, he has delivered. And the Eagles looking to make this a one-possession game. And they are able to do that in spite of the penalties, in spite of all of the shenanigans that have occurred today, the turnovers. The Philadelphia Eagles find themselves within range with only around four minutes left. Carson Wentz nearly flawless on that drive. Five of six for 60 yards. What a drive. What a game, people. And this game is finally starting to meet up, live up to the hype. And Reggie Bush is going to take a knee right there. Last week when the Falcons played the Bears, and the Bears were in this situation, the Falcons, they, I mean, they, they're, they're, they're such bullies. Man, it, they, do such, they do so good at, re, at responding when they have the lead and, they, and the team is surging. The, 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 the Falcons have a way of coming out and just putting together a dominant drive. Let's see if they do that here. Play action, Michael Vick. And Michael Vick is going to take off again, and he's going to slide. Michael Vick being very smart there, getting to the ground, second in inches. And I tell you, that is going to be the Achilles heel. They just have not figured out a way to contain Vick. No one has. No one has figured out a way to contain Vick. And Michael Vick is going to line up in an empty formation. Barry Sanders is in the slot, and they motion Barry Sanders. Oh, and they fake the Barry Sanders. Looked like a broken play. Looked like that was supposed to go to Barry Sanders, but, Barry, but Michael Vick missed the handoff. Wow, that's unfortunate. Michael Vick misses the handoff, and the the, mis, the, the mistake bug seems to, to seems to be jumping onto the Falcons now. They've been mistake free all day long. But here in the crucial moment. They make a mistake. And Michael Vick throws the ball, and he's able to hold on to that ball. Rashad Perryman. Wow, that was big. Rashad Perryman, man. He's, he's not an elite receiver, but he has elite size and elite speed. So he, with that said, guys, he's able to make, he makes elite plays. He's about only an 80, 81 overall player. But the guy just has some elite traits. And he's able to deliver in big games. Michael Vick with the play action rolling out. This play is good for them. There you go. That play, that, that's one of their best plays. That play works for them frequently. And they roll out to the left and they roll out to the side of all the, the receivers stacked in that trips formation. Julio Jones there coming up with the, with the, toe, dra the toe drag swag. Getting that first down. And Barry Sanders here looking for a crease. Barry Sanders keeping his legs churning. Barry Sanders still fighting. As we look at this number four ranked defense, they've given up 300 yards today, 305 yards. That's not terrible, but they certainly have uh, played better throughout the year.
And the Eagles need to stop. They need to stop right now. They cannot afford to give up any points on this drive. As we reach the two-minute warning, here goes Michael Vick. And they're at the 40. The Eagles need to stop right now. They need to stop the Falcons. Let's see. Reggie Bush to the outside. Reggie Bush, did he get the first down? They're going to call a timeout. And Reggie Bush, he did get the first down. And they're going to call a timeout. Reggie Bush was able to hold on to that ball. He took a, he took a big shot. And they're at the 39-yard line. Michael Vick lining up. Heavy single back formation. And they're going to give it to Barry Sanders, and they're going to stop Barry Sanders. The Falcons are taking their time. They're just running the clock out. They're not really trying. They just want to kill those timeouts that the Eagles have. They got that first down, which is crucial. They're going to be able to really run this clock down, and that's all they want to do right now. They feel good about their chances. And they're going to give the ball to Barry Sanders. And Barry Sanders is going to get wrapped up. If the, if the Eagles here, if the Eagles could come out of this drive without surrendering any points, that would be that, that would be ideal to say the least. But if they do surrender some points here, it's hard to imagine how they would be able to overcome that. They would need some serious luck and some serious execution to overcome that feat. And here they go. They're going to hand it to Reggie Bush. And Reggie Bush is going to be tackled. And it looks like the Falcons are going to come out and attempt a field goal in this windy, snowy stadium. Will they be able to complete this, to uh, get this field goal, actually? Let's see. This is a difficult kick. This is a clutch situation. Is he going to almost blocked? Does he get it? And it... Hits the crossbar and they do not get the kick. There is still life in Philadelphia. As this stadium erupts, the fans are, are, are can't believe it. Everyone is excited. Doug Peterson pumps his fist and the Eagles still have life. They are going to take the field with the chance to tie this game up with one minute left in the fourth quarter. Phenomenal game, guys. The Eagles have been able to crawl back and fight their way back. Getting in their own way throughout the whole game finally able to get out their own way and as Carson Wentz three interceptions early but as of late two interceptions racking up yards he's been efficient let's see what Carson Wentz can do here on this drive dropping back in the shotgun Carson Wentz looking Carson Wentz dumping it down to Eric Dickerson Eric Dickerson holding on to the ball good play good smart savvy play we've seen Carson Wentz do that earlier today he, run, he scrambles and he dumps it off to his running back and they look to spike it. There they go, and they're going to spike it. What the heck was that? Why did he dive? What was that? That was weird. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Darren Sproles tried to turn that into a completion. That would have been disastrous. All right, second and ten. Carson Wentz is looking to score the ball. Carson Wentz, again, trying to dump it down. It's, it's good that he didn't catch that ball, actually. That's good. That's good. You don't want to catch that ball in that situation. There was a defender right there. Third and ten. Four down territory. And there goes this guy. Terrell Owens fighting. Terrell Owens gets tackled. He did not get the first down. He fought. He tried to get it. And this is a fourth and one. They have to get this. What are they going to Are they going to? No, they fake pressure. And that is the game. Adrian Claiborne comes in. Him and Brady Jarrett. And they're able to get. Carson Wentz, they did not bite on the play action. Wow, you got to wonder why in the world would they run play action in that situation? Why would they run play action? The Falcons do not bite, and they sack Carson Wentz in the backfield. That's the game. The Atlanta Falcons are going to the Super Bowl. They will be playing the Baltimore Ravens, facing that Ray Lewis-led defense, and we are in for a phenomenal game next week if it's anything like this one. Man, what a what a what a heroic effort, though. And then at the end, you just gotta you gotta question some of the play calling all day today by the Eagles. 
I mean, they just ran and ran the ball all day and to no avail. Just putting themselves in such a bad position. They have so many, so many penalties, so many mistakes, turnovers, and yet they're still able to fight their way back and give themselves a chance here in the end. But ultimately, in the end, a bad play call. You know, just a very questionable play call in the end. And they get, they get pulverized in the backfield, and that's what cost them the game. And, 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 and Michael Vick and the Falcons certainly want to observe this game and look at how the Eagles were able to come back in spite of all of their self-sabotaging ways. Because I, I assure you, next week, the team that they're playing, the Baltimore Ravens, will not have all these penalties and they will not uh, have all these mistakes. It's going to be a very hard-fought game as the Falcons advance. And we look at the uh, the Falcons, they, they had to fight for this one. They needed every point they could get. We had a couple of non-offensive touchdowns in this game. There's a lot of explosive plays, a lot of trick, a lot of mistakes. The Eagles were able to block that punt. And even though the Falcons didn't have as many mistakes as the Eagles, they're going to have to tighten up. The Baltimore Ravens are probably the most disciplined team in the league next to the Patriots. And they're in for, they're in for one heck of a game in the Super Bowl, guys. Thank you guys for watching this, this EA Sports broadcast. My name is Bricks Buntley. And I am your host, and it was a one hell of a game we had today, guys. Michael Vick was dynamic. Probably setting, setting, rec setting a record for a quarterback in the postseason, rushing the ball, 176 yards rushing. He was dynamic. Eric Dickerson eventually was able to be a, a, big, a huge factor in the passing game. But it was not enough, guys. As I go over these stats before I close this game out, Dwight Freeney with two sacks. Man, they, they, they certainly, the, the Falcons, I mean, they, they didn't, they, they, they had their sacks. But the Eagles, man, they, they, the Eagles were in this game. They were able to fight. It's amazing that the Eagles were able to give themselves a chance to win at the end of this game. It's absolutely amazing. I, I myself, I don't know how that's, how that's so. I know Carson Wentz was able to get hot. He started off with three interceptions, but he ended up, he started playing very well, and he was he was accurate all, all day, and I mean, I guess the, that's when they started passing the ball, Eric Dixon, they stopped trying to run the ball, and they were able to, they were able to, to, to get back into the game, you know, and they shut down Barry Sanders all, all day long, and whenever your running back is shut down, you're, you're susceptible to being uh, captured, if you will. So as we go into this next as into the Super Bowl with the Baltimore Ravens, man, Barry Sanders and the in the Atlanta Falcons they should be concerned about their running game because if they struggled against this team, it's going to be scary to see what occurs next week against that Baltimore Ravens defense because that defense is scary and that defense is hungry and they are going they are, and they are going to be hunting to say the least to putting in to put it in the words of Ray Lewis. All right, guys, that's it. NFC Championship game. I'm Bricks Buntley, signing out. Peace.